Today on Jig Labs, we're going to help you keep your headers on screen. Let's free some panes. Now that we have our Excel window up, let's talk about freezing some panes. As you'll notice in row one, we have our header data and below we have a whole bunch of data. As we scroll through this data, we lose our ability to see our header and we don't know what column is which. Now Excel has a built-in feature that's gonna allow us to always know what column represents what. So if we scroll back up to the top and we come back up to our ribbons, we're gonna to go to the view ribbon and right here we have freeze panes. We're gonna click on the down drop arrow and we're gonna click freeze top row. Once we do that, we're gonna come back down here, scroll, and now we see, even though this is row one, it is locked into place, always at the top of our screen, and you can see that this next row is 11. If we keep scrolling, our headers will always be locked in place. You just scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now you always know, no matter where you are, what data is where. Now that is great. Our header columns in row one are locked into place. But what if we scroll to the right? Well, we lose our invoice number. We don't, we don't want that to happen. So we're gonna come back up top here. We're gonna down click on freeze panes. We're gonna unfreeze the panes, which will allow everything to be free. See, everything is back now to normal. We're gonna come into freeze panes and we're gonna freeze the column. So now if we scroll to the right, our invoice numbers stay in place and everything else moves around. But with this feature, we scroll down and to the right, while invoice number stays the same, our header columns do not. So we're gonna come back up here once again, unfreeze the panes, and we're gonna click in cell B2. If you notice around cell B2, there is that highlighted cell. We're gonna come back up to freeze panes, and we're gonna select the first item that says freeze panes. We're gonna click OK. And now when we scroll down, we see that our header stays in place. And if we scroll to the right, our invoice numbers stay in place as well. So the freeze pane feature has lock the top row, lock the first column, but you can do any combination that you wish. By clicking in cell B2, we've highlighted that cell. And if you look at the top left of B2, we can see that we're locking in. Think of it as that top left is where you're gonna lock everything into place. Everything in A and B will be locked in place as well as rows one through three. So let's click on freeze panes and now let's scroll down. We can see that one, two, and three are also in place. And if we scroll to the right, we have A and B not moving as well. Any combination of freeze panes that you wanna do allows you to keep the essential data for your ability to see what's going on on screen. We're gonna unlock the freeze panes again. So everything is back to normal. And we're gonna scroll back up and we're gonna click on B2 because all we wanna see in, in our reporting is row one as well as column A. So we click on B2, hit freeze panes, and there you have it. That is a very great and easy way to always be able to see no matter where you are in your data to see what you're trying to reference. Now that we've frozen our panes in place to how we want to view Excel, what happens when you go to print your Excel spreadsheet? Will your columns and headers always be in place as you want them to? So let's click Control P real quick, which will get us to print. And this will give us a preview right here on the right hand screen of what we're going to see. We can see our header row is great on page one, but if we go to page two, that's not there. Well, freeze panes only works while you're working within the confines of Excel. Excel has another little feature that's gonna make your life easier when you need to print out your data. So we will go now to the page layout tab and we're gonna click on print tiles. Print tiles brings up the page setup window and it selects the sheet for you. Right now, we're gonna look at, we could set the print area, but right now we're gonna focus on rows to repeat at top. We know it is row one. So we could do one colon one. 
and that will print row one at the top of every single of our page. Likely so, you can click on this little arrow and highlight the row and highlight the row by clicking on the row that you want to show on your screen and it will do the same thing. If we hit OK, that's great. And now we're going to hit Control P again. And now this is a preview of what our print's going to look like. We have our header row on top. And if we go to page two, you can see the header row repeats on page two as well. If this was a hundred page document or just a two page document, every page you can see this information. So that's very nice. Let's just say we wanted to have like in our original things, we want a report title at the top of our page. So we're going to come in here, insert a row. So we're going to come back up top, merge and center, and we're going to label our report. We're going to hit enter. We're going to do a little bit of formatting, make it a little bit bigger, make it bold. And now, now we're good to go. So now, when we do the print tiles back in page layout on the ribbon, we can come in here and right now it says it's going to select rows two only. But what if we said rows one and two? That's one thing to keep in mind is you can select as many rows to repeat on the top of each print as possible. So if we come in here and hit control P again and look at this preview, we could see we have our title as well as our headers. And the same thing would be true on page two. But let's just say you had a bunch of headers rows and that wastes a lot of paper. So let's go back, the print tile window, which brings back up our page setup. And we're gonna change this from row two to row two. So, so while we have our print tile window up, which is our page setup, we can come in here and what we've been doing is hitting okay and going to control P to see print preview. But right now we had rows one and two. We want to keep it as row two. And from here we can click on print preview and not have to go through the hassle of clicking OK, then hitting print preview again. So now we've hit print preview and it's bringing up on page one. We have our title followed by our headers. And if we scroll to page two, now we just see our headers. So it's only showing row two on every single page and it's saving us that little bit of piece of paper allowing us to get more data on less sheets of paper. Thank you for joining Jig Labs today as we walk through the process of freezing your panes, which allows you to keep your data on screen as you're working in Excel, as well as print tiles, which allows you to enable your headers to print on every page that you print out to whether it's a PDF or a piece of paper. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, hit that little bell, and join us next week as we do some more excelling. Thanks and have a great day. Today on Jig Labs, we're going to help you look at the top left corner of that location. Think of that, that, think that, that, that. Now that we've freezing our paint,